hey guys welcome back or if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Mika and in today's video we're going to talk about how I became a data analyst and no I I as well do not have a computer science degree nor do I have IT experience and so basically the same journey that I went through you're still able to go through in 2025 so I know that your time is valuable so let's just go ahead and jump right into it one of the questions that I always get um, not even just from my mentees, but also from some of the previous videos that I've posted um, regarding data science, um, data analysts. They would always ask me, how did I start my journey? How long did it take? That's what I'm here to talk to you guys about is my journey. And like I said um, in, the, in the intro, you're able to still take the same journey today. So basically, I started off in customer service. Um, so that was a job that I hated, which then led me on into banking. Um, so I was in retail banking. So I was a lot of customer facing. And then last, I finally made it into insurance, which I became an insurance adjuster. And that was a job I hated with a passion. Um, I hated constantly being on the phones, um, talking to customers, angry customers a lot because either their car was not fixed or a or, or, or catastrophe happened when there's a tornado or a flood or something and we just couldn't get there fast enough and for the amount of money that I was getting paid it was not worth me getting fussed at about all the time but the reason why I didn't leave that job um, was because I wanted to use that job to fuel me and to me going into data analytics how I heard about data analytics was my best friend's husband in 2012 told me about a program that I could join I doubted myself. I didn't even think that was something that I could possibly even do. I mean, the way he was explaining it to me, I was just like, I don't even know if I'm able to even do that, you know? So I was just like, uh. what made me finally change my career from insurance into the data analytics world? What finally did it? Because I didn't do it right away. It was four years later before I decided to go into the data analytics world. But what made me make that decision was just life. Life happened. Um, me and my two children, we became homeless. And I'm not talking about, oh, I'm homeless and I'm sleeping on my best friend's couch. Or I had to move in with my mom. No, my mom drove trucks for a living so she didn't have a house. My father died the year I became homeless in 2013. So I didn't have a home. So that was that. My father lived in New Orleans. He came here to Texas and Texas, he was here for six months and then my father died. My sister, she was having her, she was trying to raise her own two kids and she was barely making ends meet. So I couldn't go and live on her couch. My thing about it was, is that I could have went to go stay on my best friend's couches. I could have stayed on someone's couch. But the question was for how long? I needed something that only God could bring me out of. So it was me living paycheck to paycheck. I was tired of living paycheck to paycheck. Even after we came out of our homeless phase, I just couldn't land on solid ground. I just couldn't. And I was still living paycheck to paycheck. The lights were still getting cut off. I was still going to the store to buy water because water was cut off. So I'm, go I'm going to the store to buy water so that way I can heat it up so that way I can cook with it and so that we can bathe with it so we can brush our teeth. I would have to just wait until I got paid on Friday before I can turn the lights back on. And that would include me paying the, the light bill, the past, due, the past due balance, the disconnection fee, the late fee, and now I'm back in the hole again. I have a child that's full-time in daycare and I'm trying to figure out do I pay daycare or do I pay the rent? I can put some of it on the rent, but I still got to pay daycare because if he don't go to daycare, I can't go to work. So I am just constantly like a hamster just spinning my wheels and getting absolutely nowhere. And I was exhausted. And at the time I had a two year old and an eight year old and I had, they were depending on me and I was tired of not being able to support my children. I didn't have child support. I didn't get support from the fathers. So now it's February of 2016. I decided to go ahead and give this schooling a shot. And it was a boot camp that I actually did inquire about. And the name of the boot camp is called Colaberry Incorporated. And so I went on there, I went to the site, found out what they were all about, and I ended up joining one of their actual um, open houses so I can learn more about the program and what they have to offer and what it was even about. I ended up taking my tax return. I took $2,000. I went and bought me a laptop and I enrolled in the course. And I did not have 
years to wait. I couldn't go back to college. I couldn't do four years of college. This good thing about this um, this boot camp is that it was only for 12 weeks, okay? So we met every Tuesday evening from 6.30 until 9.30, and then on Saturdays from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. For the first six weeks, they teach you everything you need to know about SQL. You learn how to not only create, but maintain tables. You learn about databases, user-defined functions, CTEs, joins. You learn how to code. You're doing it all in that first six weeks. Then for three weeks, we ended up doing the ETL data warehouse part. So you're learning all about data warehouses, databases, um, relational databases. You're learning about all of that and then how to extract data using Excel, HTML or whatever. And then um, also transforming the data by cleaning it, manipulating, knowing what to look for and then loading it into staging tables. And then the last three weeks, you pretty much are learning how to take that data and make it visual and they teach you about reporting and so that is the beauty of it and it was 12 weeks now they tell you you can go and you can apply for you a job but let me tell you something I'm not going to lie to you I had five years worth of knowledge in my brain and my head was exploding and I just did not know how to really connect the dots enough to say yeah I'm gonna go and apply for a job and start no honey I was not ready May. So it's May now and I've enjoyed, um, I now enrolled into the actual, the second portion of the program. Now they teach you how to troubleshoot. They teach you a different language such as C-sharp. They introduce that to you. You're learning about the different methodologies such as waterfall and agile and how to do scrum. They're teaching you how to read and create a business requirement document. You're learning about the different people who make up the IT department such as a business analyst and a DBA and um, the project manager and the other developers and all that. You're learning all of that. And so this part is actually completely self-paced. It only took me six weeks and I was done. Okay. So basically from the time I started to the time I finished the second portion, it only took me four and a half months. It is now July and I am done with the second portion. They actually teach you and show you how to create your resume. This resume right here is the one that I used back in 2016 to land me my very first job. It is definitely ATS approval. Like it, there is no links, hyperlinks, or anything like that in there that's going to block it or kick it back. And so this resume in 2016 landed me my first job and then as a software engineer, and then it also landed me the job that I currently have today. And they did a fantastic job when they helped me create my resume. Um, the resume writing part was not always hard because it wasn't that hard. We did not have ChatGPT back then. But you got to be very careful using ChatGPT when you're creating your resumes because now these companies are becoming very known to how ChatGPT are writing these resumes. So I'm going to say create your resume and then just ask ChatGPT to enhance it. I am certified in data analytics, but I, you do not have to be certified. That's just me. I don't you as a beginner, you do not have to be certified. Um, you can do the Google cert certificate and you can, but it is not required. You do not have to have a bachelor's degree. You do not have to have a master's degree. You don't even have to go to a four year university. Now it is like August and I am now applying. You just always have to stay ready and be on your game. Um, applying for jobs right now, um, you have to make sure, and I went over this before, going over job descriptions and things. If you can do at least 80% of the job um, that you see um, in the job description, apply. I did apply during this time in 2016 and I applied and I applied and I applied. There were some times where um, I went on a few interviews. So in August, I did go on my very first interview. I remember it was like the first day of school. I did that and uh, I bombed it. It was horrible. I bombed the heck out of that interview. It was just horrible. Um, but I knew what to expect moving forward. So that didn't hinder me from applying again. I continued to apply. Um, there were some times where recruiters reached out to me and they was asking me questions and what is your expected salary and when can you start? And then they'll tell me they get back in touch with me and then I don't hear anything from them. You get that a lot. And then also just be on the lookout for scams. Okay, I have a whole video 
and document of me talking about what scams and how to look for them, especially when it comes to you via email. But another thing, when I was applying, it took me, oh God. So I want to say that it was August when I started applying for jobs. It was three months. I was on the market for three months before I actually got a job because I got my offer in November. My final interview was through a recruiter that reached out to me and told me about the position. I ended up going on four rounds of interviews. The first interview was with the actual manager, so the manager for that IT department, so who I would be reporting to. It was the very first interview and it lasted for 30 minutes. He pretty much asked me about my SQL experience, my reporting experience. He asked me about my day-to-day, -day, um, my type of environment, how do do I have any ETL experience that kind of stuff and then that was it he pretty much wrapped it up after he told me about the company the second round interview three seniors and then the actual manager was there again and that interview lasted an hour and this is where the technical this was very technical this is where not only did they ask me about my reporting skills but they started asking me like parameters and how do you create cascading parameters and that kind of stuff and then like how I work with store procedures and use to define functions and CTEs and joins and what's the difference between a left join and an outer join I mean left join and a right join or an inner join or a cross join have I ever used CTEs or views or anything like it gets more in depth in that technical round the third round was actually within with the IT director who was over the manager so it was the IT manager it was the business analyst, analyst manager and it was the QA manager and then of course the manager was back in there again so it was a four can it was four people in there in that call as well that one lasted only 30 minutes it was not technical at all but they really just wanted to know about my personality the fourth round was then with the C so it was the CEO CFO and the president of the company and they wanted to know a little bit more about me as well and about my culture and whether or not if I was going to about my environment and whether or not I was going to blend in with the company that one only lasted about 30 minutes so after the fourth round of interviews I did end up getting the job and I, and I accepted um so I pretty much doubled my salary I was very excited about it it was the most money I had ever made and then it was just uphill from there so I ended up staying with that company for about two years once I left there, I ended up working for another company. So with there, I became a business intelligence developer. That's when I decided to go ahead and start investing my money. So I started investing my money into real estate. And so now I own commercial property. And now I also have a fourplex residential property as well. I ended up buying me a car. I allowed my commercial property to purchase my car. And then um, after that, I built me a house. Data analytics changed my life dramatically and in the best way possible and to me I felt like this was the best decision I had ever made and the only regret that I have is the fact that I didn't start it sooner so if you are considering becoming a data analyst or anything like that take the leap jump into it again I had no IT experience I came from insurance and banking and so I'm telling you if you're saying that I don't know if this is something that I want to do I say take a chance just take the chance learn excel learn sql and then learn and master some sort of bi reporting whether that is ssrs power up uh, power bi tableau or click all right again i thank you so much for you guys for watching that is all that i have again if you want to know more information about resume put resume down below if you want to know more about scammers and how to to weed them off put that down below put scam down in the comments below if you just have any type of questions anything you want to know just put down in the questions down below and uh, put it in the comments down below and I'll be more than glad to answer those questions for you so again thank you so much for watching and until next time bye